For millions of people in rural California, ordinary tap water can mean hazardous to your health. By some estimates, at least 2 million people in the state are at risk from drinking water that has been contaminated by nitrogen fertilizers. From one of the most successful and most fertilizer-intensive farming regions in the world, we have this report from California Watch. Across the United States, at least half the population relies on groundwater for everyday use, including drinking water. In rural areas like Seville, California, that figure often exceeds 90 percent. Here in Seville, where a single well supplies water for the entire town, there are many causes for nitrate contamination, including leaky septic tanks. But the primary source is the use of nitrogen fertilizer by one of California's leading industries, agriculture. We've had a lot of problems with our water system here, um, that it's been contaminated. Uh, that goes into our water table, that comes into our, our homes. You can see that it's clear, but, but we're not allowed to drink our water. It probably has, right now, high nitrates in it. Uh, you gotta buy our own bottled water. It's not good. I don't recommend that you drink our water. It comes from the ground, groundwater. The nitrate contaminated water is pumped from this single well. It goes into the tank. From the tank, it goes into the distribution lines. Aging plastic pipes then carry the groundwater to the entire town. Mixed in with the groundwater, nitrate contamination. Now, I don't know if you've been around the other side, on the other side of town, but it's all farming. That's where all the oranges, groves are the farmers. It affects our local water. And that's why we have a lot of nitrates. Where in America do you hear at school district the kids don't have drinking water? It's something like that you would see in a third world country. Well, the basic problem is uh, with the domestic well that supplies 100% of the water for the campus is contaminated with nitrates and DPCP. Unfit to drink. So we have to supply bottled water to all the students and the staff here. DBCPs are the legacy of a now-banned pesticide, but nitrate-producing fertilizers, those are still used every day by California farmers. And, you know, everything here is contaminated with DBCPs or nitrates, so this is uh, dangerous for young students and uh, young infants. They said there's nitrates in the water, and they post up in the restrooms, you know, these little uh, posters that say we, we can only wash our hands and we can't drink the water at all because it's too much nitrate in it. We've removed all the drinking fountains in the campus. We've had, we used to have several drinking fountains around the campus, so here's one of them that was removed, just so kids don't accidentally drink water from it. We do run a daycare here. We have from one-year-old to five-year-old students, and we have to be careful what kind of water we give them. The bottled water is not a permanent solution, but it's a solution until we solve the problem by either hooking up to a local PUD public utilities district or drilling a new well. Many rural households have no choice but to maintain their own private wells. And these same private wells are surrounded by many potential sources of nitrate contamination. Mi nombre es Camelia Lopez. Estamos ahorita en Orosi, California. Mi esposo y mis tres hijos. Nos gustaba este lugar para vivir, bueno, más que nada a mi esposo que él quería un, un rancho, tener una tierra para tener sus animales y llegar de trabajo y estar descansadito y relajado. ¿Ah? Aquí está el pozo. De aquí sale el agua, va por las tuberías para la casa. Yo no tomo de esa agua. Es, esa agua es la, es la que sale del pozo y es la que está contaminada. Nosotros tomamos agua del... The exact source of nitrate contamination is often difficult to trace. Filtration systems expensive and difficult to maintain. But Camelia Lopez vows to find a workable solution. Para nosotros esto es esto es mucho, verdad? Con sacrificio de mi esposo y de mi familia, lo que hemos logrado y y pues vamos a luchar porque porque a ver cómo de qué manera vamos a mejorar a mejorar esto del del agua. Este, 
porque si nos queremos quedar en nuestra casa, es triste. As the nation's leading agricultural producer, California applies nearly a million tons of nitrogen fertilizer to its farms each year, about 25% in the form of manure. Only about 50 to 80% of this total is absorbed by California's crops. The remainder goes either into the air, a small percentage, into surface water, or into the ground, and potentially into the state's underground drinking water. It should be everybody's concern about this water that we're having to use. Researchers would agree with Rebecca Quintana. Scientists at California's Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory called nitrates the number one contaminant threat to California's drinking water, while the American Society of Agronomy called nitrates the most common chemical groundwater contaminant in the world. For California Watch, this is Christopher Beaver, Seville, California.